So this is how I met Jeremy Pena. You know, as a Houstonian, I feel like we're all Whataburger, you know, fanatics. That looks really good, not gonna lie. <laughs> we're back. I do wanna uh, test out the waters with in and out since there's a new location here in Houston, Texas. Uh, they finally did one by my place, so we're gonna taste test it. You know, as a Houstonian, I feel like we're all Whataburger, you know, fanatics. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give it a non-biased, you know, type of based, uh, non-biased review uh, so I'm excited to give my review get my take on it I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna eat I'm not gonna show you like a McBang where I'm eating the food but I'm just gonna give you like a quick review or how I like it all right so we just got the food and look we got the drink open like I didn't even get to open the straw I don't know if that's just a regular thing in in and out and then look the food is that I think those are the animal style fries and then we have the burgers which is open yeah, it's open. It looks really good, not gonna lie. So if you're a picky eater, you know, that doesn't want, like me, right? And Sorry. doesn't want germs and things on the on the food, like, you know. Sorry, I'm not ready for the video. Okay, cut, yeah. All right, <laughs> we got the animal style fries here. Let me try to open it up, my first reaction. That looks really good, not gonna lie. Look, that autofocus is giving it the vibes. Um, but yeah, it looks really good. And then I'll show you the burger. I already showed you the burger, so uh, yeah. So this is the next day from when I tasted in and out I did finish the burgers. I did finish the animal style fries with, uh, you know, with the sauce and all that. Now, the only reason I'm giving in and out 5 out of 10 is because it did not sit right with me with my stomach. I couldn't even sleep. I, what I did like about in and out was the fountain drinks. You know, like they tasted really high quality. I don't know. If they're doing the same thing with the McDonald's, what McDonald's is doing and Whataburger is doing with the whole like different packaging. The fries, I feel like they needed salt. And I don't know if the animal style sauce made me feel this way with my stomach where I couldn't even sleep and I had to be in the restroom the whole night. Maybe the burger, you know, maybe it wasn't cooked well or maybe, I mean, how can you ruin a burger? You know, if you do burgers, you don't have like chicken in the menu. From what I saw, right? I, I went through drive through and they didn't have no chicken. So I was like, okay, you know, I want to taste a chicken, something chicken or some other thing in the menu, but they didn't have any. They only had the burgers. So I was like, okay. But I don't think you can ruin a burger fast food chain if you're always doing burgers, you know? But I really don't know what made my stomach, you know, feel a certain way. In and out, I'm giving it a five to 10. I'm being nice. I could have gave it like a one out of 10, right? Because it, it didn't sit right with me, but I'm giving it a five out of 10. The burger was good, um, good enough for me. Um, it just needed something. I don't know, maybe the, oh, I didn't like the bread. The bread was really like soft, like so soggy. I don't like that in burgers. For me, right, the bread has to be uh, like water burgers, you know, or like even McDonald's. It's not even that soggy. If I ever have the chance to go back again, I think I would just order a regular single patty burger with a regular french fries and that's it and a, and a Coke. You know, I don't think I would get the animal style sauce because I don't know, maybe that affected me. But if I go back and that happens to me again and all night I have to be in the restroom, then I'm actually going to give it a one out of 10. So if it's not the sauce, then it's the meal, you know, and for me personally, it just didn't sit right with me. So that's my opinion. That's my take. Whataburger is way better. Um, <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Right now we're currently in a storm a warning here in Houston, Texas. So this is how I met Jeremy Pena from the Houston Astros. Now, uh, keep in mind this this was last year, you know, a couple months ago, like maybe around December. I recognized him, you know, at the store and I was like, hey, yo, you know, like, you look like Jeremy Pena. And he was like, I do look like him, right? And then we both started laughing. So I appreciate you, Jeremy Pena, if you're watching this video. I appreciate you making the time for me and making that video for my mom. How's it going, Mercedes? Jeremy here. Happy holidays and you have a good one. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away. And another woman that can take your spotlight.